Hey guys, Kim from Serene Bookworks coming at you today. It is the 18th. Happy late St. Patrick's Day. That was yesterday. Uh, today my prompt is ducks. And when I got this assignment, I was like, really? Ducks? So it took me a while uh, to figure out what I wanted to do, but of course I went back to the old standby, which is folding paper. I love me some folded paper, as you know. So I thought, let's make some cute little uh, ephemera uh, tuck spots. And hopefully we can make them into some sort of a duck shape. <laughs> so let's see. This is going to be for the body, I think. And I like this one because it was uh, double-sided. And I grabbed just a little scrap piece of orange for the beak. And I think because the eyeballs are little, I'm just going to draw the old eyeballs on. We need a pair of scissors. Don't need any glue or anything for this one. Uh, well, yeah, maybe you do. Actually, because I wanted to do something fun. So let's get some glue. And okay, let's begin. <coughs> I get a lot of these off-cut pieces, as you can see. If you are a scrapbooker or a junk journaler like me, you probably have a bunch of these. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to fold it into thirds. And it doesn't need to be precise. Just kind of eyeballing the thirds here. That's how I do mine so that you have a, uh, a little three-way fold there. Again, it's not precise, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Sorry about the shadows. It's really uh, strange in the workroom here today. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, let's do, I'm gonna grab the old trusty pencil here. <clears throat> and we are gonna cut, let me get this up here. We are gonna cut about halfway down and around. So let's do this. About halfway down and then cut on the crease that we made. And then to get it kind of the same, I'm just gonna flip it over and trace it onto this side. And I hope I'm in camera here. And again, it doesn't need to be precise. We're just having fun. I, uh, I did look on my, I got a Cricut a few years ago and I did look on that thinking, oh, what could I do on my Cricut that would be fun? But then I thought, well, not everybody has that. And that some of the stuff that I saw is like, I can make that quicker just by folding and cutting <laughs> than I can by you know, loading it and designing it and everything on the Cricut. So that's where we're at. All right, so then you're gonna end up with something that looks like this, okay? Then let's go, oh. What I did was I just cut straight across too as well. I totally forgot about that. You don't have to, but this is just what I did because it was getting a little bulky. There we go. Then, <clears throat> all right, then you're just gonna fold this part down. Again, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for our cuteness. And then when you fold this over, are you seeing it yet? Okay, so let's take the, my little pen and I'm gonna make some cute little eyeballs. I don't know how to make duck eyeballs. I'm not an artiste. 
And then let's cut this cute little, ducks have a, oh, this one's got the, I wonder if we could use this in some way. Ducks have a kind of a fatter bill than chicks do. Chicks are more pointed, I guess. Let's see, maybe if we fold this somehow. I'm learning right along with y'all, so. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something cute, okay. Uh, yes! All right, so that is just, again, real quick. We're not going for perfection here. This is a really quick project. So I just cut a little piece, as you can see, and then just folded the back. Look how cute. And then you know what else it needs? I'm gonna take these scraps. Let me move this. These scraps that we just cut, and I'm gonna cut some funky shapes here. Let's just do a few. And then, you could use tape for this too, but I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna make some cute little uh, feathers. You know, all chicks have little, like, mohawk feather things happen, and they're really cute. We used to raise chickens. Never raised ducks, but we raised lots of chickens. Good times. We used to raise them in my basement. That one's kind of funky. Of this old, uh, old, old house that we lived in. Uh, how cute is that with his little hair sticking out? I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so let me get my eraser here. Just erase that. That's bugging me. I know we're not going for perfection, but that was bugging me. Okay, so now you have a cute little journal spot where you can open this up and you can journal on this side, you can journal down here, you can journal here. You can also flip it over and journal on the back side as well. And one more thing, I think this would be cute. Where are we gonna tuck this little guy? Let's do this. Let's find a cute little Looking through my scraps, looking through my scraps. Mm, what's that look like? I'd like something a little lighter if I could. Let's see. You would think I would have something right on top here, but alas, I do. I could use plain paper, but I kind of wanted to use something a little more fun. Let's go with... Oh, get back here. Well, crime and Italy, you're going to just watch me do this all day, apparently. There we go. Okay, well, this is good. This is good. Let's see how much of this we'll need here. Let's just mark this. We don't need it too darn big and we don't need it too darn tall. So let's just mark this out. Give it a little cut. Yeah, we got to our basement where we raised our chickens. We got to our basement through a door behind our pantry. It was one of those you know, old basements that you see in, uh, you know, the old movies where, <laughs> where 
where it's a little freaky when you go down the stairs, you know. That's what we had growing up. I'm going to fold this in half so that I can cut kind of a uh, an eggy type shape. That's not the best eggy shape, but you know, whatever. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to make it so that this little guy has just popped out of his home that he's had for the past month or so. I can't remember how long it takes chicks to, to grow inside their eggs. But then again, most eggs that I had weren't green either. So there we go, green eggs. So let's just use this as an example. If this were your journal page or your planner page or whatever you may have, you could glue this down. You could decorate it, you could write on it, whatever you'd like to do. You're gonna grab this little guy and he just tucks right in there. See, and then you could pull him out. What do you think of that? That's kind of a cute idea. I like it. That was super easy today, guys. Super easy. I know my first one, the, uh, Oh, the folding card, that was a bit much. So this one's just a nice, easy one for you guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think I'll decorate this up a little bit more. And we will see you next week where I'm already beginning to uh, figure out what I want to do because it's, uh, let's see, is it bees or honey? I think it's bees. But anyway, it's going to have to, it's something to do with bees or honey. So I'll figure that out. Uh, I will see you next week. And tomorrow we head back to Cindy at Studio Lou. So see you later, guys. Hope you're having fun with this spring around. Hashtag spring around 22. We'll see you soon. Bye.